so today I am making chalk paint and not chalk paint like paint a chalkboard with bit to write with chalk but chalk paint for a chalk like finish so to do that I am using a cup of paint and this is um, one called subway tile that you can find at Lowe's this is a third cup of water and a third cup of Plaster Paris you can get at Hobby Lobby or another craft store. So I'm going to combine my plaster and my third cup of cold water in this little cup. I'm going to mix it together really well with the wire whisk. Trying to get out any lumps. <laughs> Which looks like they're gonna be difficult. But we'll get them out, it'll be okay. And I'm gonna put in my paint. I'm using my stainless because it's easy to clean afterwards and plastic because I'll throw it away and that'll make cleanup easier and I'll mix that for a little while It should only take about an hour to dry, probably a little less, honestly. And I'm using mine to paint these ornaments that I'm putting pictures in. And I'd like the chalk finish for them to give it a little nice, kind of a rustic finish. bonuses of chalk paint or a chalk like finish paint is that it adheres really well to a lot of different surfaces so you don't have to use primer as much which is a real time saver you can make your own and save a little bit of money to put towards other things there's several different ways to make chalk paint. I've heard one of the best ways is to use calcium carbonate, but I don't have that on hand. And I do have plaster, so I'm using that today. to cover mine with a plastic lid so that I can use the paint a few more times but you're generally not recommended to just save the leftovers of it because it doesn't save very well. to 
this dry and then later I'm going to come back with a little bit of sandpaper and make the edges a little bit smoother, give it a little distressed finish and it should be pretty cute.